Hey guys, welcome back to this tutorial and today we're going to be making uh, lighting using surfaces. Uh, this will be for beginners but it will be all GML and there won't be any drag and drop, sorry. Uh, if you need any help uh, with your code, put it in the description. If you get errors, uh, I'll have a look at it and I'll get back to you. Also, if you have any more trouble, uh, just private message me on YouTube or leave a comment. First thing we want to do, make a sprite, and we'll call this SPR Light. Um, and I'm going to load a sprite. Uh, I'll have this sprite in the description. Also, I'm going to double the size of mine. It's a bit bigger for this tutorial. Uh, make sure it's centered as well. Um, this will be our object for this will be like just a little test object to make sure and to demonstrate how the darkness of the where the light isn't uh, affects objects and makes them kind of dim as well or completely gone in the darkness if you will um yeah oh, I'm gonna name that SPR ball all right now it's very basic and take uh, two objects. Ah, oh, shoot. OBJ ball. I'm gonna set the sprite to SPR ball. Um, get rid of that timeline. You call this OBJ light or whatever you wish to call it. Um, don't set any sprite. Go add event, create event, control, drag in execute code. And now we want to go. We want to we want to name our surface. I'm going to name it mine surf. Um, surface create room width room height. All right. Now this will set the size of the surface to the size of our room. Um, Uh, set the target to surf oh, wall surf um, then we want to draw clear draw clear alpha make C black and zero uh, don't worry about this part this is just for uh, kind of a debugging purpose I guess uh, not debugging it's when you bring in a surface it has lots of memory on it already from your computer your VRAM or something I don't know what it is but apparently you just have to do it um, reset target and we don't put anything in those parentheses and that's it for the create event I'm gonna give you a few seconds to have a look yep alright and now step event step drag in execute code uh, this is going to be I comment my code a lot too um, alright you should all comment your code commenting your code is so useful if you come back to it later and you have mountains of code and don't know what something does anymore you can just have a little comment there and I'll tell you what to do uh, also there's these double forward slashes make comments okay uh, alright and we want to say draw no sorry sorry surface set target surf I want to tell it to draw onto our surf our surface called surf um, then we want to draw set color to C black and draw set alpha 0.8 I'm gonna do this for this tutorial um, this will make the dark or the ba kind of the blackness the darkness kind of transparent so you can kind of see through it but not very well uh, if you wanna have it completely black just don't put in this piece of code right here right there 
or you can just set it to one. Um, next, we want to draw the rectangle from zero zero to room width room height. Okay, so it'll fill up our entire room. Oh, we've got this. Alright, next, want to um, draw set alpha. <sighs> draw set alpha back to one in case any other sprites or anything down here that need drawing and you don't want them to be transparent, basically. So you just do that once you've finished drawing with alpha. Uh, next, we have draw set blend mode uh, draw set blend mode bm subtract okay and we want to draw uh, draw sprite spr light zero and for this tutorial I'm going to set it to the mouse coordinates um, like that and if you want to set it to a player object or something so you have a little light around your player you can just go over j player dot x and over j player dot y over j player is the name of the object and then you add dot y for its y coordinates okay mouse why? Okay. Uh, next, after drawing the sprite, we want to set the blend mode back to normal in case anything after this in another object or something wants to use blending and we have it still set to BM subtract and not back to normal, um, it will break the game. Oh, probably break the game. Uh, also, one very important thing that I forgot. Um, I think I forgot. No, I didn't, don't worry. Um, blend mode normal. And we need to surface reset target. Bam, like that. And I'll give you a few seconds to have a look at that. Alright. And then draw draw in the draw rep we want to say if surface exists surf draw oh, surface uh, this is just so you hopefully don't get any errors when the surface like isn't there and it still tries to draw it just in case you have that problem. Um, do, 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 that should be good. Uh, let's make our room. I'm going to call mine RM test. I'm going to put in some balls. That uh, balls. Um, so we can look around with our light and see if we can find those. Which we know where they are anyway. But anyway, just pretend. Um, I'm going to set the background colour to maybe like a dark green or maybe better green than that. There we go, the proper green. Also, with my light, you may see it as lots of rings or like very bad quality. But don't worry, this shouldn't happen in your game. It should be very smooth and very clean. Um, as you can see, the depth didn't work. Uh, oh, <laughs> I forgot to. Um, lights have to have well over for your objects you have to have your light below if you want the surface above every object you gotta put it below what the other objects why is this okay so we gotta set the depth I'm just gonna put it to minus 10 because that's the lowest and that will now go over the top of the um of the objects up as you can see and we hover over them and they get very bright 
Um, we have our little light. And there we go. And if you want to keep watching from this point, uh, all I'm going to show you is uh, complete darkness, which is just going to the step event. Open. And you set this alpha here to 1. Okay. Alright. And now it'll be completely black. You won't be able to see anything but where the light is. There we go. And we can see. We can go around and find them. So this would be good for probably a uh, like survival horror or a uh, top-down zombie shooter or something. Maybe even a platformer would work. Um, there we go. Next tutorial, I'll be covering particles. And thanks for watching this tutorial. And catch ya. stop cam studio without it oh it's being buggy everyone help oh god